Good morning, everyone. This is Linda. It is early, and yeah, it's coming. <laughs> the rain is coming, but I'm going over and I'm going to get my two cantaloupes. And uh, hopefully this time I get to see if that watermelon, I want to see the stem on that watermelon. And also I want to look at the belly of that watermelon. Uh, I'm going to go get them. So I'm waiting for Ben to come out here, be here in a second. And uh, that's what we're going to do this morning before the rain comes. I also want to drop some seeds. I dropped some seeds over there in that container right there, but I don't see nothing showing. So that's okay. I'm going to fix that because I'm going to drop some more. <laughs> yeah, baby, I'm going to drop some more. So a lot of the trees, you can see that some of them is lighter in color. Um, and it may be like just a part of nitrogen uh, deficiency. And that is because of all of this rain we're having every day. Just lots of rain every day. Uh, the trees, some of the trees and um, the, the vegetables, um, they're all light. So. I'm going to give them some 511 and super juice, but I'm going to have to wait until probably in the morning now. Even if they just get it for a couple of hours, that'll be fine. But all of this rain is stripping them from their nutrients. It's just so much. So, that's what we're going to do today. Uh, I hope you all been having a good morning. Oh, so many butterflies in the garden is playing. Uh, matter of fact, my poop caterpillar, evidently, he has transformed because I see some of the biggest swallowtails flying around in the garden, and that's so cool. But anyway, as soon as Ben come, we are going to jump out into that watermelon patch yeah <laughs> all right guys so i'm sitting over here under my moringa and she's just getting taller and taller you know but uh and these are the purple flowers of course they are salvias but i was looking at this plant right here she's really tall and this is lemon basil. That's what that is. It's, it's going to seed, and that's fine. And over here, I have some peppers. And uh, y'all check out these peppers. Many of you all know what this pepper is, but let's see if I can get her. Yeah, she is. Y'all see her? Can y'all tell me what the name of that pepper? She grows with her, her pepper pointed straight up. Yeah, baby. Yeah. So, are you pepper growers? Who is that pepper? <laughs> but listen, so I was wondering, who was this? Who is this tall plant coming over these, uh, this uh, lemon basil? And then I looked at the top of her. So when I'm in the garden, of course, you all know the ones that's been here a while, you know that I don't label. No, it's just, for me, it's just too much work. I'm trying to keep up with things and uh, it's not that I haven't tried, you know. Next thing you know, the labels and faded out or, or the label did not travel uh, with the plant. So, you know, what I began to do is just use all the senses that God gave me, right? Like the sight, the feel of the plant, the look of the plant, the smell of the plant, and how the plant grows. 
from season to season, how does this plant grow? So this is why and how I began to learn what a uh, what a plant is. Now, sometimes, most of the times, I cannot tell the variety of the of the uh, of the plant. I can tell you what it is, but not the variety. But let me just say this: ah, for this pepper. I know her variety. I know her baby. I know her. <laughs> uh, and it's not that I grew this pepper so many, many, many years. No. But I did grow her maybe about three or four seasons. But the thing that made me know who she is is because I love it. So the things that you love, you're going to remember them, right? Just like anything else. You're going to remember um, their little habits. Yeah. You know, like my first boyfriend. I remember that. <laughs> the cool thing about that is that my first boyfriend... I can look at my two children and I see him. <laughs> oh, y'all. Y'all know I'm feeling good here today. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going back inside. I've just eaten um, some watermelon, some toast, and I had some grapes, and I had some cantaloupe, and it was delicious. But anyway, guys, let me let me get some seeds together because I'm going to drop some seeds and I'm going to share it with you. Okay? <laughs> All right, y'all. <laughs> All right, everybody. So I'm going to drop some seeds here again. Wait a minute. You, you, you got to move, baby. You got to move. I know you want the spotlight, but no, no, it's not about you. Okay. So, I'm going to drop, yeah, they look amazing. Um, so, I was reading about uh, this mint. I've never grown this mint before. So, it says that they also call this mint uh, hyssop, but I have hyssop and none of my hyssop look like this at all. Y'all see this? So, we gonna drop that on this side of my little makeshift divider. And over here, yeah, we gonna drop some mullein. All right, so now, both of these herbs will not live in this container. One of them will um, have the the container all to itself but right now I just want to get them started here so let me drop them and I'll be back I'm just lightly just lightly covering these seeds I'm really not trying to cover them real crazy just Giving them a little something, something, that's all. Yeah. And now we're just gonna tap it down just a little. All right, babies, it's your turn. Do your thing, do your thing. And I know some people say, well, Miss Linda, you know, you got the put your soil it have to be light and free of sticks and yeah I understand baby I do I understand but this is it all right I'm gonna share what we see okay family oh yeah so this is what I harvest already this morning cantaloupes and a watermelon and we're looking at another one back there but they're good 
and look at the uh, Italian figs right in front you've been. It, they beautiful. Yeah. But but they're not ready. They still tight. Yeah. Yep. So we got some fresh fruits today. But I'm gonna get it all cleaned up and um, chop it up and put it in a container. But I'm gonna share uh, what they look like. But those two is definitely ready. I could have pulled them yesterday. Cause the stem of this one, look at that. Yeah, that's not, that's okay. She she gonna be good. She's gonna be good, good. <laughs> yeah. This is one of my cantaloupes. Yep, that's one of them. And it smells delicious and it looks beautiful. I'm gonna save the seeds from this one, this side. Yeah, and I'm gonna chop it up. I'll be back. All right, so that's the first cantaloupe. This is the second one I'm about to chop up right now. Let's get her chopped up. Y'all ready? This is the way she look inside. That's the second one. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. So y'all check out these black Italians. Look at them. They are fat and it turning black. We have a real, real dark one right here. Oh, I may have to test that thing out this morning. <laughs> There's another dark one under there. You like figs, Ben? Mm -hmm. You do? You need to harvest some from that brown turkey tree. She is loaded. Me and Jaden came out and harvested the whole basket of them, and they're still. Yeah. So if you want to harvest you some, harvest you some, man. So the brown turkey is the one that you know you put in the uh, the steaks, the tallest one, Ben. I harvest the pears. You see? <laughs> yeah, I harvest the pears yesterday. Yo, they they are in the house. They are in the house, Ben. You could take that off, huh? I'm gonna do a lot of pruning to these trees, you know. At least at the somewhere around in fall, I'm going to prune a lot of these trees. I'm going to take a lot of cuttings, I'm going to do a lot of air lays, um, just so I can share, um, at least I want to share some of the most productive trees that I have, right? So one of the trees I definitely want to air, air lay is the, um, the pineapple pear. She is just super, super productive. I want to get some cuttings from this pomegranate um, yeah because this is not wood so because this is not wood and I don't know maybe there is some limbs over that there is wood but I I'm gonna see but I know I'm gonna do some cuttings from this um, pomegranate and uh, we'll see if we can do some air lays on some parts that is wood We'll see. And the thing about air laying is that you do want to use wood when you air lay, but you don't want to air lay the main branch of the plant because you want to keep the main branch for you. <laughs> okay? So always remember don't air lay your main branch. No. That's for you, baby. That's for you. <laughs> All right. 
So <clears throat> we just gonna hang out here and just try to investigate to see what we see, what we see in these plants. I'll be back, y'all. So this is my sunflowers. I have about maybe 12 sunflowers growing. I dropped many of them with you all. I don't know if you remember, but here they are. Many of them are like over 12 feet tall right now, but I didn't know this one and I dropped some new seeds from Baker Creek that I never dropped before, but they have multiple heads on them, which is cool. I've grown these before, but it's gonna be amazing. I'm looking forward to it. So, um, today is Friday, and um, this weekend in New Orleans is gonna be big, baby. Big things is going down in New Orleans this weekend. If you didn't know, it is the Essence Festival 2024. Yeah. I'm excited about some of the things and some of the artists that's hanging out in New Orleans even today, y'all. New Orleans is the place. And so many artists, they are just roaming all over the city and, you know. Uh, I'm not starstruck at certain people. Certain people I do like, you know, of course. But even those that are not performing, they are here in the city, and I love it. I love it uh, when they're having a great time, right? It's it's a beautiful thing. So, this weekend, y'all, <laughs> New Orleans is going to be funky. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna go to one of the after hour um, festivals. Well, it's not a festival; it's in a club, in one of the clubs I do like. So, it's it's an after hour thing, right? So it's not for the uh, the twerkers. No twerkers is not in here. Uh, this is for grown folks right so for many many years our last performer was Frankie Beverly and Maze which look it's filled the Superdome every year it just don't get old right <laughs> so I'm just looking forward to all the festivities of Essence Festival here in New Orleans 2024 yeah Almost see some of it, that's for sure. <laughs> all right, guys, I hope you all have an amazing weekend. Amazing weekend. You know, do something for yourself this weekend. Why not? Why not? Jamaican sorrows, that's what that is. Yeah, there's two little plants, but they're doing good. <laughs> all right, family. Later, y'all. <laughs>